Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another Ford Ranger electric update. Um, you know, I was asked something um, when I basically said that I wasn't going to be using the Nissan Leaf uh, battery cells for the Ford Ranger electric project. Uh, someone had asked, oh, well, have you considered the, the Tesla Model S cells? And I wanted to talk about that actually maybe before I actually show the batteries that I did decide to go with for the Ford Ranger electrics because I feel like it is worth uh, discussing a little bit. Um, and the answer is no. <laughs> I, I did not um, go with the Tesla Model S battery packs and that wasn't without thought, right? I actually did consider that as an option. In fact, um, at least one uh, and possibly more Ford Ranger electrics that were shipped over to Norway um, were upgraded with uh, Tesla Model S battery modules. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to explain exactly why I decided not to go with that option, because in terms of the used um, battery market, outside of Nissan Leaf cells, Tesla Model S modules might be one of the most readily available uh, for DIYers and people that are considering, you know, building their own EVs or, or whatnot. Um, and so just a basic rundown, and I'm going to go with these numbers off the top of my head because I haven't really um, scrutinized them in a while. I considered them and then I moved on. So my numbers might be a little bit off, but I'll correct myself on screen if I am. But uh, essentially these modules are, uh, from the Tesla Model S, are 5.3 a kilowatt hour module and I believe there's like a 22, 23, 24 um, volt nominal uh, voltage for the for these modules and they're actually fairly lightweight I think they're like 50 or 55 pounds uh, so they're actually fairly energy dense and in fact um, usually cylindrical cells are more uh, volumetrically energy dense and less gravimetrically energy dense. Essentially, um, they are more compact for the amount of energy they hold, but they're often um, heavier for the for the uh, energy they hold. And so, these actually kind of impressed me in the sense that they're volumetrically they were about what I expected them to be, but they're actually pretty energy dense in the, these 18650 uh, modules. 5.3 kilowatt hour modules are about 200 to about 220 um, watt hours per kilogram, which is pretty pretty energy dense. And maybe I'll use this as a reference multiple times, but uh, the finished pack energy density for something like the 2020 and on Chevrolet Bolt EV or the uh, Tesla Model uh, 3 using the uh, 2170 cells is about 150 um, watt hours per kilogram for the finished pack weight. So at a module level, these uh, Tesla Model S modules are actually much more energy dense. And uh, you're all dirty, girl. You're all dirty. Uh, so they're very Im impressive, right? Um, and like I said, someone has already been using these in the uh, in the Ford Ranger Electric. And just based on the, the overall voltage, uh, what they found was they needed a 14S configuration. Uh, and I believe in the actual Tesla Model S, they use a, a 16S. Um, and so that ends up being uh, about 800 pounds, if I, if I remember correctly, of weight, or a little, maybe even a little less than that, um, in the right nominal voltage of about 320, 330 volts, uh, and about 75 kilowatt hours of energy. Um, and I believe it's around 230 amp hours is the amp hour capacity rating for the module. So again, using this rule of thumb that I've kind of come up with for the Ford Ranger Electric, uh, that would mean about a 200 and 20 to 230 mile real world range that I could expect by using uh, those Tesla Model S modules. And so you might be asking, well, why didn't I use them? And there are two really important reasons I didn't. First is just cost, right? They're, they are expensive. Um, and to equip a Ford Ranger electric even used, the, the prices I was seeing, it was gonna be over $20,000 for a single pack with 14S configuration of these Tesla Model S modules. So that's, that's, that's a sizable chunk of change, right? That's f literally four times as much as I paid for both Ford Ranger electrics that I have. Uh, and so I wasn't really ready to commit that level of price. 
I, I won't lie, after getting the Nissan Leaf uh, cells and seeing the amount of degradation from them and not really having a guarantee for the capacity that I could expect out of a used um, module, I also wasn't really on board with paying that much for not knowing how much capacity I was actually going to get. Um, if I paid $20,000 for battery cells or more than that, I would want the full 75 kilowatt hours out of them. And I just didn't think that I was going to be seeing that. Again, these are uh, nickel cobalt aluminum uh, cells that actually degrade fairly quickly, um, at least the first five to 10%. Uh, so I mean, I was very likely to only see maybe a 70 kilowatt hour pack if I'm lucky after it was all said and done. And then of course, outside of the price and the possible battery wear, the other thing is just integration. Integrating those modules requires a lot more hardware, a lot more hookups. Um, it would require a new BMS. I'd have to buy, uh, or at least, um, order the, the, basically the guide for the, the card that I would then need to install into the motor controller to get everything to, to work together and communicate. All of that was not something that I really wanted to have to do. Um, I mean, I'm fine with adding a new BMS, but I'm not really um, interested in having to do that kind of integration, right? Um, all of those things sort of coalesce together to, to make me decide to not want to go with the Tesla Model S um, modules. And ultimately, as what I said with the Nissan Leaf cells, the reason I chose not to go with the Tesla Model S uh, used modules is I found something better. <laughs> and um, I will save that for my next Ford Ranger electric update video. Um, but uh, let's just say that I think that they uh, integrate much better with the uh, Ford Ranger electric, at least for what my expectations are and uh, for what I hope to get out of it. Uh, maybe they aren't the best batteries, but I think they're the best batteries for my purposes. So I'd love to hear what you think. Have you actually used the Tesla Model S modules before? Um, what did you think about their price, uh, their value? Um, how easy or hard were they to integrate into your system? Um, and, uh, you know, would you use them again or are you using them maybe? I know a lot of people are using them as a battery backup system uh, for their power supply. So um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.